All right. It's better late than never. <laughs> yeah, Nettie Strong's wearing his car. He couldn't get a parking pass. Couldn't get a bargain pass. That's what they all say. Oh, uh, she did a tiny bit of this. We could pull that down just to hear. Good morning, Benny. How are you? Got the distinguished Alex Perry asked to confirm a house for you fine people today. Everybody wish Alex a happy good morning. It takes a lot of uh, takes a lot of people and talents and in, in all in every facet of life. And we need to honor all those facets of life. It's a lowly technician like Alex Perry out this week. <laughs> we have honored here this morning. And Nettie, the Bongo King. <laughs> Kathy, <laughs> Kathy's in, uh, yeah. she, uh, trying to encourage me to get wild today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
is
save me as I try to go. Outside the wind crashes with the smell of blowing snow. Three in the morning.
soon I jump off the front porch Land on the dressing room And until then these fancy dreams I for another mind Everything Seems it won't hurt this time All the parties crashing They do it their syndrome It only takes just one of us to be alone Nobody's going back still being left behind Everything Seems it won't hurt this time Oh, 
ask you to, do you need to sing one for us? Yeah. And uh, we, we would be remiss if we did not mention that uh, Sim Remen had a previous engagement they had to be with, and we want to thank Kyle Spark for being here. And, uh, we have Nettie on the phone yeah. The distinguished Mark Radabaugh on the drums. We have the far flown soldier, Kathy Ziegler. And you need Curio.
Usually in show business, when something really goes well, you should quit. Stop. Let the people remember how beautiful it was and how they wish they had some more. But we're not going to do that. Not only we're not going to do that, we're not going to do that again. Because we never really did. It got suggested a couple of times. It was probably good advice. It went unheeded. Um, I don't know about told. You know, we've been at this so long, so you don't know what's story you told or which song you sang. But, yeah. Hope you enjoy the story for the second time. Is it about being a morning person? Because you told that one. Oh, no. I'm not there yet. No, I'm not there yet. I'm talking annual repeat, not like uh, 10 minutes. Did I ever tell you what a morning person is? here from Tennessee. I was the first brother born in uh, Tompkins County Hospital. And uh, both my parents are from Nashville. And then uh, my father, well, he was quite a fellow in, in every way. And uh, so he bought this $200 house that was about to fall in the river in Brooktondale, and they moved it down the road and put it on this foundation. We had this big rambling house. And uh, apologies to any of the neighbors. We were the worst neighbors in the, in the universe. There's no doubt. My father uh, had... <laughs> I shouldn't tell this story. He might be here. I shouldn't tell this story. <laughs> Talk about him in third person. But... Um, uh, but he had a sort of a overreaction to uh, academic life, and uh, his mother was a, a, just the, the most iron-willed woman, and she, and she was interested in in uh, definitely not being confused with a certain social class. And my father did everything in his power to make sure that he was confused with that social class. <laughs> as a reaction to that. So we were the by far the worst neighbors in the universe. Uh, like a, when the Bubba George said, uh, Richie Stearns was the first one of us to play music and when I was just a little kid. And uh, But everyone was in uh, two-stroke motorbikes before then. And we commonly, uh, all the windows were out in the house and the speakers were facing out. 
playing the Rolling Stones as loud as you possibly could while worked on two-stroke motorbikes. Could you imagine living next to these people? Unbelievable. And the, yeah. And not only that, well, it goes on. This is the polite version. But anyway, it goes on from there. Where, where am I going? All right. So we, and then uh, there's a huge house, and, and my father has this dream of escaping himself and these six kids that he's made, helped make. And then we're, we're not even, I can't, there's not enough time in the world to communicate about my mom. But, so, anyway, so we won't tell any stories about, me. she's just, she made everything happen. But anyway, back, so, so we moved to Trumansburg, and uh, no, uh, the old man, he, he decided he wants to sell the house, and we're going to buy more houses all over, he wants to move this to Australia, and all this and that, you know, he's, he's a wanderer. It, and over the next horizon is the is the thing, you know. And my mom was the one that decided she liked it up here. And uh, they started. The, my mom was on this uh, agitated to start the alternative school, East Hill School, and then uh, turned into New Juniors Alternative and blah blah blah. So anyway, boy, this is really getting out there. <laughs> but when so we we bought this uh, brick thing out in Perry City because we're homeless all of a sudden because, uh, you know, we fixed up the old house and sold it. It's like one, uh, we went to an old time festival and came back and there was no porch. So, and uh, so it got sold and then, so we, we, we wound up out here and then we knew some people out here, but we didn't know a lot of people. And uh, there was a young man named Zeb that committed suicide and he, we planted a tree over there. And out of that, uh, me personally, we met so many incredible people, and a lot of people coalesced around a vibe of, of uh, making sure that you get life. And that was the focus, is make sure traction is adhered to, no matter what you're going through, that this thing is taking place. And built this song. <laughs>
someone